Hello and welcome to the video. Today we're going to have a look at how we can export an advanced skeleton rig into Unreal Engine. Now it's not always the same. This model was created using Character Creator and advanced skeleton was kind of added on top of it. So it ends up with a lot of stuff in the scene that isn't important when we're exporting into Unreal. However, it's there and it's all attached and it's a bit of a mess. Um, what we need to export is the original bind skeleton and the geometry. Um, and the first time I did this, it, it all went screwy and all over the place. So I thought I'd show you how I uh, thought about this problem and fixed it. Now, the first thing we need to do is figure out exactly what is attached to the model so as in what bones we have five four or five different skeletons here and we need to know which ones are actually driving the body so i'm going to go into my skin here and paint skin weights and what this does is it shows you the joints that are actually attached and all of mine are the cc underscore base joints so what I can do there is come into my outliner, so just this tab over here, and if I type in cc underscore base, I can find actually where these joints are. And weirdly, they're hidden underneath the geometry tab, which is bizarre. Um, it doesn't normally do that, but for some reason it's done that on this rig. So we need to essentially rip these joints out of this hierarchy without destroying everything. Now, I don't have any animation on this guy, but what I might do just for the purposes of this video is I'm just going to put on tiniest little bit of motion so we can see if we can get that to come over as well. So nothing major. I'm just going to make him do a squat. So first thing we need to do is bake the motion down onto his bind joints, which we now know are the CC underscore base joints. So this whole system here contains all of the joints that are attached to the skin. So if I go to my animation tab here, key and I will bake simulation, but I'll just check my options here. So I want everything underneath this hierarchy. So there's two ways of doing this. Either you select the top joint and then click on this option here to select everything below. Or the way that I prefer to do it is I will select the thing that is the top and I will come here and I will manually select the rest of the hierarchy. I just feel safer doing that. So I'll do that click bake and that will bake all of the motion from every source down onto those joints with luck and we can check this by clicking on these and you can see down the bottom here we've got loads of keys so we know that it's worked so he is now being driven by these joints nothing else and it should be safe to drag these out of that hierarchy and he is okay so he's kind of half detached from all of these systems here now they should not be driving him they still exist in the scene and it's mucky and not very pleasant but we can export and not include them rather than deleting them so now in terms of the geometry if i look in here where it says so if i go into geometry and then we have geo um that is all we need to select. We don't want face group. We don't want deformation system or anything like that. Just this. So I should be able to select that node and the top of this node and then come back in, select hierarchy. And now I should be able to export this. 
I'm going to use Game Exporter. Uh, I tend to get better results from it. It's not necessary, but I like that it separates things into tabs here. So for this one, I just I just want something to be exported. So I'm going to go into the model. And what this does is it doesn't include animation, even though I baked everything down and it has animation. I don't care about the animation right now. I just want to take the skeleton and the mesh and leave all of the rig stuff behind. And I will come over here and change it to export selection so that it doesn't drag all of this other crap with it. Pick where I want it to go, which is here. I'll give it a name, which I've already exported this multiple times testing things out. So I already have a name that I'll overwrite. So I'll just paste that there. Click export. Yes, I will overwrite. And before I throw this into Unreal, I'll open up another Maya and check on the version that I've imported. So if I new scene here, and bring this import in, I can see what is in my scene. Now I, in my export, have exported the blend shapes and stuff, which I did not want. Let's just check my bones then. So we have our hip, okay, and if I pull this down some more, we have our thigh, and that is now connected and all that's driving. So all of this crap here, I don't want, I don't want any of his blend shapes either. So I'm going to delete all of that crap in my group here. I have geometry put inside there. So even when I tried to get rid of it, it's still stuck around. But I've deleted all of that out now. And there's just our guy and he is attached. Now, when I exported, I should have got rid of all of those things, but they came in and this is something that might very well happen to you. And if you're aware that you can just export it even though it's got those things in, delete all that crap out and just export it again, then I think that's probably more useful for you than um, than not seeing that workflow. So you can see here I had blend shapes ticked on and I just don't want that on. So I can take that off. They're, up, they're not in the scene anymore, so they shouldn't affect us. However, if this happens to you, this is the way to uh, work around it. So I'm going to Export again, same name, copy over the top of that. My export was successful, but let's see how successful. So new scene, and we will bring in our guy again. And this time, it looks like we didn't get all the other crap. And our guy is still attached. I have visibility set to zero, so let's turn the joints on. Put on X-ray and just have a quick little check. And he is now moving fine. If I go into Unreal and let's delete this guy out. And let's now test chucking him in here. So I've made a new folder just called custom character just for now and let's slap him in and by default most of these things will be exactly as mine are i clicked on use t0 as ref pose all that does is takes the frame zero and uses it as our kind of t pose so i'm gonna click import Give it a minute to throw up a million error messages. Whoa, did I get no error messages? That's a first. 
but I can click on him now and have a little test just to make sure he is in engine and working. So that worked out a treat. If I go back to Maya and this guy here, let's now export his animation. So once you have your character in engine and he is working fine, and you know that he's okay, from then on out, you don't need to export the mesh. So every time you come to export your animation, all you need to do is bake everything onto the uh, CC underscore base, which we now know are his skin joints. And using Game Exporter, you can come over to Animation Clips and Export Selection. And from here on out, once we set our directory, we can choose to make clips. So if I had five animations in here, I could make a bunch of clips and I could have, uh, so this one's squat. But if I had a walk in here as well and a punch or whatever, I can give them a different name and set actually how long these things are. So this is like 15 frames. If the walk started at say frame 20 and lasted till frame 40 or something, I could export multiple clips from the same file. I actually don't need to do that. I've only got the squat, but it kind of becomes a really powerful tool game exporter if you are using multiple animations in the same scene file. So I am going to give this a, a prefix and just call it squat. So now this will essentially export the same scene file with the same name, but it will give it a prefix of squat and it should only take our joints. So I select the top level, select hierarchy, open game exporter, make a clip, export selection, and I will check this, uh, all is good. And then when I export, it should just take the joints and that should, if we exported fine, uh, wait, which, now which way, which one is which? Uh, right, this one's empty, <laughs> brilliant. Let's just test it. So we've got <laughs> squat, squat. Okay, I didn't do that right. But let's just have a look. This should just be a skeleton. Currently with a visibility of zero, so I'll put that to one. And uh, let's make sure it's always at one. Uh, yeah, so let's just delete that right. So the skeleton is always visible now and we have our squat animation just attached to the bones, which is super, super powerful when it comes to um, saving tons and tons of space. So, oh, this is a mess. I'm gonna make a new folder for animations. What I should do is go in and take all of that texture data and everything and sort it into separate folders, but I'm being lazy today, so I'm not gonna do that. And now, when I bring in my squat or my squat squat, it will ask me what skeleton to attach to. And I can now pick Eddie, there he is, because I want these animations to attach to Eddie. By default, everything should be okay, and I'm just gonna risk it and see if this is okay. Oh, we've got a gun, weird. I didn't bring a gun in for him, but let's just check. And there he is in all his beauty. So with this tested and I know that it's working, from here on out, my process would be to make animations. And once they're signed off and ready to go, I would go in uh, to the CC underscore base joint system, select them all, bake it and export just the joints. And every time I bring them into engine, it would automatically be able to attach to his rig. Uh, so I hope that was clear enough and I hope that works for you. Uh, but obviously um, you can always ask questions if things go wrong, because invariably things will. All right, all the best, see you soon.